This is the third in a series of three videos on calculating the area under a curve. In this video I will explain how to calculate the area between a curve and a line. Now the, the next thing we're going to do is find the area enclosed between a curve and a So for example we're going to find the area enclosed between the curve y equals x into 4 minus x and the line y equals x. Uh, so the first thing we've got to do is sketch uh, the curve and the line. Um, x uh, into 4 minus x is a quadratic um, with a negative x squared coefficient and so it will have a maximum it will pass through x is 0 and x equals 4 so it looks like that. And y equals x, of course, is a straight line through the origin with gradient 1. So the required area then is the area here between the, um, the curve and the line, uh, which is shaded. Now, how do we calculate this? So to calculate this area, we calculate the area under the curve, but we need to do that between uh, x equals 0 and this point here. And that is the point, uh, the x coordinate of that point is the point of intersection of the line on the curve. Note that is not the area under the curve between 0 and 3, because that would include a little bit here. And we don't want that, uh, because we need the area under the curve between 0 and this point there, which would be this. And then we need to subtract the area of the triangle, so um, which we'll call, we'll call that A2, we'll call the whole area A1. And so A, the area required, is A1 the area under the curve above the x-axis minus A2, the area of the triangle. So first we need to find the point of intersection P and we do that by solving x 4 minus x or y equals x 4 minus x and y equals x simultaneously. We can just substitute x x equals x 4 minus x and uh, expanding that x equals 4x minus x squared uh, if we put the right hand side over to the left hand side we'll put x squared and subtracting 4x minus 3x equals 0 so we have x x minus 3 equals 0 So the point of, in, uh, point of intersection x equals 3, and this point here is 3. Of course this is 4, I believe I said 3 before, but this is 4 where the curve crosses the x-axis. So to find, so the area A is the area under the curve between x equals 0 and x equals 3, and that's A1, minus the area of the triangle OPQ, where uh, Q is um, this point on the x-axis and that is A2. So A1 then is the integral from 0 to 3 of x 4 minus x dx band brackets equals the integral from 0 to 3 4x minus x squared dx and integrating gives us 2x squared minus x cubed over 3 between 0 and 3 and that equals 2 times uh, 9, 18 um, minus 27 over 3 which is 9 and evaluating at 0 we have 0 so the area is 9 and then the area of the triangle 
half base times height. Uh, the base is 3. And of course, the as the line is y equals x, the y coordinate of p is also 3. So the height is 3, which equals 9 over 2. So the area A is equal to the area under the curve 9 minus the area of the triangle 9 over 2, which is 9 over 2 square units. Now pause the video and try these two problems. The first problem, find the area enclosed by the curve y equals x, 3 minus x, and y equals x. First of all, we sketch curve, crosses the x-axis at the origin, and x equals 3, and has a maximum value, and so it looks like that, the shape of a quadratic, and the line y equals x, straight line through the origin, gradient 1, and so we need to find the point P here, uh, so that we can find the x coordinate, so that we can um, we can calculate the area under the curve and subtract the area of the triangle. So we solve y equals x into three minus x and y equals x simultaneously, and therefore we just can equate x three minus x equal to x. 3x minus x squared equals x and then adding the left hand side to the right hand side we'll have x squared minus 3x plus x minus 2x equals 0 x, x minus 2 equals 0 and so uh, the x coordinate of p is 2 and as y equals x the y coordinate of p is also 2 so we need to integrate uh, to find the area under the curve between 0 and 2. We we'll call that A1 and the yellow area of the triangle A2. So A1 is equal to the integral between 0 and 2 of x 3 minus x x expanding that's the integral between 0 and 2 of 3x minus x squared dx and integrating, we'll have 3x squared over 2 minus x cubed over 3 between zero, 0 and 2. Substituting the limit 2, 3 times 4 over 2 is 6 minus um, 2 cubed, 8 over 3. And substituting 0 gives us 0. 6 minus 8 over 3 is 24 minus 8 all over 3, which is oh sorry, 18 minus 8 over 3, 10 over 3. So the area under the curve is 10 over 3. The area then of the triangle, half base times height, is half times 2 uh, times 2. The height is also 2. So A, A2 equals half times 2 times 2, which is 2. So the area required is 10 over 3 minus 2, which is 4 over 3 square units. So for question 2, we need to find the area R. And the area R is to draw two lines uh, down there per perpendicular to the x-axis this is the x-coordinate of p which is 1 and this is the x-coordinate of q which is 4 then the area r is the area of the trapezium formed by p, q and uh, the x-axis and the two dotted lines there minus the area under the curve. So R is the area under, under the trapezium, I call T, minus the area under the curve, which I'll call S. Um, the first thing we need to do is find the Y coordinates of P and Q. 
uh, the curve y equals 2x plus 8 over x squared minus 5. So if x equals 1, y equals 2 plus 8 over 1 minus 5, which is 5. And when x is 4, y equals 2 times 2, that's 4 plus 8 over 16, which is a half minus 5, which comes to 7 over 2. So the area of the trapezium T is equal to, to half times the sum of the parallel sides, that is the y coordinate of P plus the y coordinate of Q, so that's 5 plus 7 over 2, times the distance between them, which is 4 minus 1, 3. And that equals half times uh, 17 over 2 times 3, which is 51 over 4. S is the area under the curve, and that's the integral of y dx between 1 and 4. So, 2x, so s is the integral between 1 and 4 of uh, 2x plus 8 over x squared minus 5 dx. We need to write that as a series of powers of x, so we'll write the 8 over x squared as 8x minus 2 minus 5 dx. And then integrating, 2x becomes x squared. x to the minus 2 is x, integrates x to the minus 1 over minus 1, multiplying by the 8, so that would be minus 8 over minus times x to the minus 1, which is over x, minus integrate 5, you get 5x, between 1 and 4. So evaluating at 4, we've got 16, minus 2, 8 over 4, minus 5x, which is 20. And evaluating at 1, we have 1, minus 8, minus 5, that. So that 16 minus 2 minus 20 is minus 6, minus uh, 1, minus 8, minus 12 is minus uh, so minus 5 is uh, minus 12, so minus minus 12 is plus 12, so that's minus 6 plus 12, which is 6. So we have R, the region we require is T minus S, which is 51 over, 51 over 4 minus 6, which is, that's 12 and 3 quarters, so that's six and three quarters square units. This is the end of the third and last video on finding the area under a curve. Now return to Study Smart and attempt the exercises provided.